Hey Lightroom users, it's time to talk about something that may not seem exciting, but may save you from a Lightroom catalog disaster. And that is backing up your catalog. Now, Lightroom has had pretty much since day one a backup feature built into it, and I'll be the first to admit I never used it. I never used it until this week. I've always shown it, I've told people about it, but I never actually put it into practice myself, and here's why. Why let Lightroom back up my catalog if I'm backing up my whole computer? I'm on a Mac, I've got Time Machine, I back up to the cloud with Backblaze, I've got all these various backups backing up my whole drive. Why would I need to do an extra step of backing up the Lightroom catalog? Well, just this week, I found the reason why, and it averted a disaster for me. All of a sudden, my Lightroom Classic CC was starting to act a little strange. I would tell it to sync collections to the cloud. It just wouldn't do it. Wouldn't start the sync, wouldn't do anything. No message, no error, it just wouldn't do it. Finally, I decided to do some troubleshooting, exporting those pictures out as a separate catalog, and it just would tell me it can't. Then I tried creating a new catalog and importing from my old one. It would just tell me it couldn't. And then I started to freak out. So what I did was I, I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and do a Lightroom optimized catalog. That worked fine, but it still would not fix the problem. So finally, I went to the backup feature and I told it to do a backup. And here, let me show it to you right now. Actually, go to your catalog settings. That'll be the best place. Go to your catalog settings. And under general, there's the backup catalog. And you know what mine is set to? Never. Because I figured, why the extra step? But if you do it, you can set it to once a month, once a week, one, once a day, or every time Lightroom exits. I've now got mine set to once a week, but you can do one on demand. You can say when Lightroom next exits, meaning the next time you quit Lightroom, go ahead and run the backup. And this is what happened. So I, I did that. I closed it. I quit Lightroom. And when I quit Lightroom, it says, hey, we're just going to do this backup just this one time. This is where we're going to put it. But note, this is the money right here. This is why you need to do it because every time you do a backup, it tests the integrity before backing up, meaning it checks the catalog for any damage that may have been going on for months, if not years in my case, because the catalog was corrupted and I didn't know it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, yep, back it up, and it will go ahead and run this integrity check. Now I'm not gonna bore you and make you watch the progress bar, we'll skip ahead to the error message. All right, here we are at the error message. That took about two minutes, two to three minutes to, to go through the process, but we're sorry, the catalog named blah, 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 failed to fail the requested integrity check and cannot be backed up. That's the problem. There's something seriously wrong with the catalog. So it says Lightroom will attempt to repair the catalog the next time you open it. This is when I really started to panic because having a different backup somewhere else in the cloud on Time Machine it's just simply a backup of the corrupted catalog. How far back do I have to go to when it wasn't corrupted? I have no idea. So let's go ahead and launch it again. Now it's checking the integrity. This could take several minutes. So again, I won't make you sit through this. Oh, we don't have to sit through it because here it is. <laughs> the Lightroom catalog is corrupt. That's the magic word. Working fine for the most part, but certain little weird things were going on because it was corrupt and cannot be used or backed up until it was is repaired. Thankfully, Lightroom Classic has a repair catalog feature. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the repair catalog. Again, this can take a while, so we'll skip ahead in the video so you don't have to watch that. But I can see all the stuff that it's doing over here in the background in the file system. It is doing the repair and updating the catalog in the file format. So, um, and by the way, we'll skip ahead, but just to let you know, it did do the repair properly. I'm now on a repaired catalog and I back it up every week now because backing it up any other way won't test the integrity. It won't tell you if your catalog is corrupted. So if you're backing up via your favorite backup program or your favorite cloud backup, you could potentially be backing up corrupted catalog that you've had corrupted for weeks, days, months, years. And when, you finally, when it finally dies or does not work anymore, what are you going to return to? So we'll let this finish 
and then we'll uh, wrap it up with some tips on the backup itself. All right, this is the message you want to see after that process. The catalog, whatever your catalog's name, has been successfully repaired. Oh, thank you, Lightroom. Thank you, Lightroom, for not making me lose everything and have to start over again. Can you imagine starting your catalog over from scratch? Now, it will need to build previews again in some of the cases, but that's okay. But now what I have it do is under the catalog settings, after it repaired successfully, I now have that set to back up once a week when I leave Lightroom and I don't skip it. Even when it was set before, I would skip it. Now I absolutely let it run. Now, here's the thing you need to keep in mind too, that it's not gonna stop doing this. As long as you've got this set, it's just gonna back up and make a copy of that catalog every single time. So that's gonna add up quite a bit after, over time. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and go to the catalog settings one more time. And now we're gonna go ahead and say, do it one, this one time when I exit. And we'll let it go ahead and do it. We'll just close it and we'll quit Lightroom. And it's gonna say, yes, do the backup. Yes, test the integrity. Yes, optimize the catalog when you're done. Um, you can tell it even what drive or where to put them on. And I'm just gonna put them in a folder for now on the desktop. So we'll just make a new folder on the desktop called Cat or Lightroom Catalog Backups. Now you'll put yours in a better place. So I'm just putting it here to get to it quickly. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and choose that on the desktop, Lightroom Catalog Backups, and back it up. Now again, it's just gonna go through that process of checking the integrity. This time it should be okay, and this time it should back it up. Again, I'm not gonna make you wait through the progress bar, but when it backs it up, I'll show you another thing that's pretty cool of what it does, and then I'm gonna tell you some tips on how to keep that, that folder optimized, because if you're doing this every week, those backups are just gonna pile up over time. And the question becomes, Let's say it's been backing up for six months. Well, you'd have six months every week worth of backups in there. Do you really need them all? Like, you, do you need the one past maybe two or three backups ago? Because how far back are you willing to go if there's a problem? Are you willing to go back six months to what the work you did six months ago in your catalog? Chances are you're not. So I would recommend that you go clean that folder out every now and then of the oldest ones. I wish it would do that automatically. Unfortunately, it won't. You maybe we can write an Apple script or something if you're if you're savvy that way to automatically empty that folder of something older than let's say 90 days. But I would say that you're going to want to clean that out because it will start to eat up hard drive space. All right, well, we'll let this finish. I'll show you what that looks like, and um, then we'll wrap it up. Now you'll note that it's doing a compressed copy of the backup. So let's go ahead and take a look at quit. I told it to put it on the desktop in this folder. Here it is. And you'll note that it does it by date. So it puts it in a folder, today's date, even the time is 2.02 PM. And it's it's got the catalog here, but notice the catalog in its backed up state is only 851 megabytes. In other words, it zips it. The original catalog is actually 2.67 gigs. So it does try to save you some space with the backups, but again, 851 megabytes every week is going to add up. So I would say that you probably want to keep at least the last three or four backups. You really only probably need the last successful one, but keep the last couple and you can get rid of the older ones from time to time when it comes time to clear up space on your hard drive. So with that said, I hope this helps. I hope this helps you keep your Lightroom running smoothly. It will also show you a copy of the corrupted one, which you could, you know, throw away because it's no good to you now. And you now have that great Lightroom catalog that works perfectly. That is all integrity corrected and not corrupted anymore. And you can continue to work. So with that said, thanks for watching this public service announcement on how to avoid a Lightroom catalog disaster. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody. Uh -huh.